up, Mayan from Fab. Today's video is gonna be a little job uh, that I've got in, which is uh, just a little small job, shouldn't take too long, so I thought I'd just film it start to finish. This is for a, uh, a replica GT40. I'm not sure exactly, something to do with the rear axles, just some little tie, tie bars and a, a mount. So he's made this up, just out of some stuff he had lying around. And uh, he wants this to be made from four millimeter steel plate. So we can uh, draw that up and then cut it out on the CNC plasma, weld it together. Nice little straightforward bracket. And then uh, these are the um, little tie bars. Got right hand, left hand thread. So yeah, nice little straightforward project. So we've got a little drawing um, giving me the measurements so I don't need to actually really measure anything. Um, probably the only extra measurement I could do with there would be a measurement from this face to the uh, center of that bolt hole there. And uh, he wants this gap to be exactly 50 mil. That thing's 51, so uh, we'll make a little uh, metal. We'll make a uh, spacer out of steel. It's exactly uh, 50 mil. This is a weird bolt thing. Um, 13 mil hole. I'm guessing he's using uh, half inch rose joints. So I've probably got a half inch drill bit. So uh, I'll do that to half inch. All right, so I just scribed a line up from the bottom corner of this and this, as it does on the drawing, this, this center of this hole is uh, in line with this corner, so I can draw a rectangle 48 across the bottom, 60 high, and uh, put my 30 mil hole at the top, and I'll know that that's in the right position. With the holes, if I do a 13 mil hole, it'll actually come out a little bit smaller when you plasma cut it. Um, so that'll be fine. I, if I do, a, if I want an actual 13 mil hole, I'll do a 13.5. So I'll leave that 13 and then run a half inch drill bit through it. And that'll be um, perfect. It's rough leaf. 39 mil, that one's a bit smaller, 37. So we'll go 38 for the outside. So that's that bit. Four of those. Now we'll move on to the uh, folded piece. Forty by sixty. So you've got two ten mil holes with a thirty-four millimeter 
gap between centers. So I find the easiest way sometimes is just to draw a line whatever length you need and then, uh, oops, not even in the screen. I just draw a line the right length rather than like, and then you can center the whole thing onto, um, it will just snap to the middle on the center of the line and then just delete the line. I'll cut them at 10 because uh, I'm not sure if these are the bolts he's using but they're imperial. He can uh, better I just cut them a bit smaller if he is using these bolts and then if he's using them 10 he can just run a drill through them. All right, got all the pieces cut. Got these uh, a nice fit for a half inch bolt. And uh, these, I ended up drilling them out to 9.5, which is a little bit over what this is, but uh, it's a nice fit on there with those bolts. You can drill them out to 10 if you need to easily enough. So I need to fold these two now and then uh, make a spacer and we can weld it together. Now we just <clears throat> now we just need to make our 50 mil spacer uh, to space this out.
Close enough. So I'll um, put a nice bevel on these pieces and then just blast this with the MIG. Got the mill scale ground off, nice little bevel ground in there. I'm going to blast this with the pulse MIG. Uh, so our um, brackets done. Urch fab over and out.